This morning, I can announce that the Government of Canada, in partnership with Canadian banks, is investing nearly $221 million to launch Canada's first-ever Black Entrepreneurship Program. beautiful people welcome to the Canada Info Hub channel it's me Wolo I live in Winnipeg Manitoba and I love to talk about life in Canada immigrating to Canada and everything that will benefit everybody that watches my videos I will say thank you to all of my day one subscribers if you're new here quickly subscribe to this channel and give me some thumbs up I'm not gonna tell you to destroy the like button just give me some thumbs up it helps for the YouTube algorithm that's what they say so today um, I'm so excited because there's a good news the good news is actually for black entrepreneurs um, black Canadian entrepreneurs in Canada um, the government has decided to put more actions on their talk you know because of what has been happening black lives matter all the noise that have been generated after george floyd was killed in the united states um the government of canada has decided to walk the talk you know by giving some funding to black entrepreneurs and you must have watched at the beginning of this video it's an exciting time it's an exciting period for those of us who are blacks and who are in canada and it gives us the opportunity to set up businesses you know those of us who actually want to be entrepreneurs we have been kind of limited because we are a lot of things just keep running through your mind like oh who's gonna buy my uh, my products who which service am I gonna sell you know where will the funds come from people who have big ideas to establish businesses in Canada are kind of put in this box and they are unable to do so but with this new announcement um, anybody who is an entrepreneur will you know take advantage of this opportunity to actually expand their business um, you'll be watching the details of the announcement at the uh, later part of this video but I'm so excited about this because um, I myself have actually been considering opening a business and um, a lot of things have just been going on around in my head I have so much ideas um concerning businesses i want to establish in canada but of course you know it has to do with funding and stuff like so many things it kind of limits one you know from establishing such things here but with this news now it's um, an exciting one for all of us who like want to create businesses in canada although this is not immigration related but i'll talk about how immigration will will, will benefit from this aspect as well so you know for those of us who want to really establish businesses we are kind of limited compared to our asian counterparts like the indians and the chinese who are able to establish businesses and are thriving and this is where immigration comes in now so you have the indian man who will establish a business and if he doesn't see anybody to employ the indian entrepreneur can actually apply for lmia and then give the job offer to somebody who is in India and the person comes to start working under work permit. You know, for those of us who are black, we are kind of limited when it comes to businesses that we can establish that would need um, strong expertise from Africa. So this is a great opportunity. I'm not saying only Africa because there are black people in the Caribbean as well. So Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and yes, yeah, shout out to my Jamaican friends who are following this channel. It's a good news. It's a good time for all of us. Um, you know, so we can be able to establish businesses as black people. And if we cannot find any Canadian who would take the job offer, we can then hire people from outside Canada to come and work under work permit in a black owned businesses so that's why you know i'm so excited about this news you hear the details of um this announcement from the prime minister himself and um let's see how things unfold this morning i can announce that the government of canada in partnership with canadian banks is investing nearly 221 million dollars to launch canada's first ever black entrepreneurship program the The Government of Canada's share will be nearly $93 million over four years as part of this program. 
The Black Entrepreneurship Program will help thousands of black business owners through our economic recovery and into the months and years ahead. I'd like to take a moment to thank our partners for working with us to address an issue black Canadians have faced for far too long. The Black Entrepreneurship Program will include funding to support three new initiatives, a national ecosystem fund, a black entrepreneurship loan fund, and a black entrepreneurship knowledge hub. Let me start with the national ecosystem fund. Black business owners and entrepreneurs often have a hard time getting the right tools and mentorship to succeed. With this new national ecosystem fund, black entrepreneurs will have access to financial planning services and business training they need for the months and years to come. Black entrepreneurs also continue to face systemic barriers when it comes to accessing loans from financial institutions. That's what the second part of our program, the Black Entrepreneurship Loan Fund, will tackle. With this new fund, black businesses will be eligible for loans of up to $250,000. And that brings me to the third part of this program, the creation of a new black entrepreneurship knowledge hub. To build back better, we need the best data possible to ensure future funding is more efficient. This hub will identify the barriers standing in the way of black entrepreneurs and highlight opportunities for future growth. To get the right input from communities, the hub will be run by black-led business organizations in partnership with universities and colleges. Moving forward, Statistics Canada will continue to collect disaggregated data to better understand the needs of black entrepreneurs. The Black Entrepreneurship Program wouldn't be possible without the leadership of black business organizations. I'd like to thank them again for their hard work on building this new program with us. This funding is another step in supporting the hopes and aspirations of black Canadians. And it's another step towards our commitment to address the systemic racism that affects black communities. We know there's still more work to be done and we're committed to doing that work. In the weeks and months to come, our government will continue to stand with all Canadians through this economic recovery. We will continue to build a better, more equitable, more inclusive Canada where everyone has a real and fair chance at success. The announcement today by the Prime Minister and by the Minister is a very positive development. It will not, in one fell swoop, eliminate all of systemic discrimination and the consequences, but we've taken a positive step forward. It is a way for black Canadians to tell a different story to non-black Canadians about what we want to do and the prosperity that we want to create, the opportunities that are before us. And now we have the means to do this. It's also an opportunity for the black community to tell ourselves a different story that we are economic actors, that we are leaders in our community, and that we are full Canadians and wanting to participate to this wonderful country that we, have, that we call home. So this is the good news I want to share today. Um, hopefully the black community will be able to establish strong businesses that will be, you know, thriving, not of course, we shouldn't waste the funds that will be, will be given to us by the government. So establish strong businesses that will make the Canadian economy thrive and with which we will be able to, you know, kind of hire more people. Like if you want to hire 10 people, you can hire 10 people. If you don't find any Canadian who will do the job, you can hire 10 people from outside Canada to come and do the job for you. So this is the information I want to share today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.